Okay, so we're about to run. We're starting off the year with uh, exercising and staying yeah. fit and stuff. Um, yesterday we had brought some shoes for Academy. Um, <laughs> we got uh, some track suits from Walmart just so we can start the day. Um, yeah, black people work out. Don't listen to them lies. We work out. Um, we well, starting off. This is the first day, so we just gonna jog, right? Uh, we gonna jog. Kill we just kill jogging. Kill we're not doing anything extra. We're running. We're jogging. Um, I guess when we come back, when we in the car going back to the house, um, we have a discussion about the Raza interview and our thoughts on it. We just listened to it. Well, I read it a couple of days ago, but. I see his voice to it, the video. Um, yeah. Happy New Year. We're back from running, jogging, our jog walk. He tried to kill me. I did it. I ain't worked out since, like, beginning of last year, 2015. Oh, man. He tried to kill me, yeah. But mm. um, the discussion that we're about to discuss is Raza from Wu-Tang Clan. Clan. Um, he made an interview and he made some comments like, I'm going to link the, the interview down below, but, um, I don't know. First, he was like that, um, that back in the day, <laughs> uh, you invite a police in and give him a kick cookie. When? In what state? Where? Not if you black? What? I'm not saying that back then police weren't nicer than what they was, but you always have the rotten ones. So it's like, yeah, um, I don't know. Like, he's talking like it was a period in American history where it wasn't a race war. This thing been going on forever. It was never a period where it just stopped. And white people saw us as equal, but they, they don't. So... I don't know. Um, what do you got to say? What do I got to say? Yeah. Hey, man. That ain't, ain't changing my goddamn clothes. I'm going to tell you right now. And look, I don't give it too much. And the first thing, he's like, if we dressed a certain way. Basically, he was like, if we dressed a certain way, we wouldn't be targeted. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X both wore suits. What are they at today? Six feet under. Um, I really don't think it matters on how we dress. Um, it's still some cops out there that's going to be like, oh, he's black, he's up to something. Oh, she's black, she's up to something. Um, it doesn't matter. If they attack their own because they're black, what you think they're going to do to you? You ain't, you, just a regular person. You, you're not even on the police department. So, I don't know. He just, he just rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm like, where this coming from? I don't know. It just didn't sit well with me. Um, I know one of my cousin friends was like, he, um, he said it wrong. And he didn't mean it. But it came out of his mouth. So, he meant it. I mean, not all things that you say you mean, but if it came out wrong, he should have thought hard you about the. Wrong. Yeah, so you... he should have thought about the answer more. He shouldn't have just been so quick to reply. He should have just took a second and be like, mm, "Well, this is how I feel," or whatever. But it was just like, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot of people feel that way, the way he felt, but. I don't think changing clothes is going to make a big difference. A big dif Yeah. Make them stop shooting us in the back in the street. So, I don't, I don't know. It's just mm, too tricky. I mean, everybody's obligated to their own opinion, but that's just mine.
I don't know. 